I'ma hit you so hard you won't see nothing ever, 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 ever. <laughs> We're leading up to intro music. I think it's the best, but uh, I don't know. I think it's awesome. And and everybody out there, you should think it's awesome, too. And thank you for joining us for the 217th. Good Lord, that is a, a big number. Quick, that, That's a big number. Quick. I feel like we just did 200. It feels I, like that. Yeah, already. no, no. We're, we're kind of flying through. That was them. 17 weeks ago. That's nuts. That is crazy. Uh, the, the the holidays have gone by. We're in the middle of January. Uh, the year is kind of, you know, slowly dragging along. Uh, whoa, whoa, relax. It's it's doing just fine the way it is. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. I just... Um, now, you want to rush it back to go to fucking Christmas again? No, 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 no. I'm actually looking forward to spring, man. Um, you know, just, you know, baseball season so we can maybe hit a game oh, or two. Oh, you're actually looking forward to spring. That's... How amazing is that, ladies and gentlemen? RJ is actually looking forward to spring. Well, I don't want it to be cold anymore. I'm tired. Like, nobody likes cold. Like, taller. I'm, you fucking lie. Bro, no, where is uh, it? Where is it? He was a fat phase on liar. So, hold on. The cold is one thing, but cold for, like, prolonged period of time, like months, is is is, is horrible. Slide those out real quick. That's too oh, close. Okay. I mean, I guess you could leave those there. But. It's fine. Is that, is that okay? I, yeah. I just don't want them to be too, too in the way. Um, no, so, like, I don't mind the cold. I don't necessarily like it, okay? But I'm ready for the – no, I'll, I'll tell you this. You know what I'm more ready for? I'm more ready for the sun starting to uh, set at a later time again. That's what I'm ready for. Well, if we just not fucking do that stupid-ass fucking daylight saving shit, it wouldn't be as bad as it is. Yeah, and so I think that's what it is, too, man. Really, like with the, uh, you know, the just the seasonal stuff. It's like, man, I just want to see the sun, man. You know, I saw something recently the other day, and I didn't think about it until um, it was said. But winter is the only time of year that the days are actually getting longer. That fucking sucks. Uh, no, no. What do you mean it sucks? Well, if it, days it, are- it makes it, um, it makes you think about it a different way because in the summer, the days are getting shorter. Yeah, and wouldn't that? That's why I would think that would stink. I mean, we prefer. I I would want the summer to last longer. If that makes any sense. Oh well, then you need to move. Um, maybe I will. You won't. I don't know. Well, we don't. Know. It's cold everywhere right now. Yeah, it is fucking cold everywhere, dude. I, I hate it. Dude, maybe maybe the day after tomorrow is is really gonna happen, and we're gonna see like a bunch of tornadoes ripping through fucking town, and uh, and it's already happening. It is, but slowly it does. It happens a lot faster. Slowly, than, my ass, motherfucker. <laughs> like, what was it? Kansas? Was it last year? They just like got ripped through in like April or some shit. Yeah, that's true. That that oh, that is right. I do remember that. And all now. these uh, strong, all these strong ass hurricanes. You're fucking tripping, bro. Ah, oh, dude, I just why? Like, well, like, well, we're on like a floating space. What do you rock, mean? Dude. Why? Like, well, yeah, well, just like why us? Like, why? Why Earth? Like, why? You know why? Uh, because humans are here. Ah, fuck. What did we? Th- and it. And I don't think it's totally um, the fucking greenhouse gases. I don't think it's petroleum per se. Um. Well, it's, uh, it's not cars as much because I think they they've done studies where the particulates that come from cars is like way lower than what they're putting out in the news or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I don't have science to. I don't have studies on me right now, but this is this, these. There are studies out there. Um, I don't know. Man, I could be mistaken because I'm. I think I'm mixing that up with. Uh, no, I think. Um, I think like farms are putting out more methane, which is uh, also a greenhouse gas, than what we're doing from cars and shit. Yeah, it's some shit like that. I can't remember. It was so long ago since I heard this. Um. But yeah, we are contributing it to it. But um, there's also uh, studies that have sh- that show that during the time of the dinosaurs, the CO two levels were really high. That's when trees and everything were the tallest and the greenest, flourishing. Well, yeah, the, yeah. When greenery was flourishing the most, yeah. it was because the, the CO two levels were higher then. So, I. Yeah, we're adding to it. 
maybe it's just we're uh, we're not meant to last longer than what we think we we're trying to fucking basically what we're trying to do i think okay so yeah this is just me thinking out loud i think we're trying to play god with ourselves so that we survive as a species by trying to contain what we now think is the issue but this could just be an issue that was going to happen regardless or this could just be an issue that happened because of the evolution of us. Yeah, kind of like trying to prolong the inevitable. Um, I I don't think. Uh, no, that's not that's not what I was saying. Oh uh, well, that's well. No, I understand what you're saying, but this is kind of the way I was looking at it. That's all. Yeah, but that's no, no, no. That's not what I was saying. I was saying the reason the war Earth is getting warmer is because of the evolution of man. Is the only it like it has no choice but to end that certain way, and now we're trying to stop our evolution. Um, I don't, know, yeah, I, I, I guess I wasn't saying it right because you didn't get what I was saying, or at least you didn't respond. So, well, I thought you were gonna respond. Well, so do you think that we're trying to prevent us from continuing to evolve, like as a species? Like, well. That that I think that might be a byproduct of us trying to stop global warming, which again I don't think is fully uh, attributed to just humans. I got you. Yeah, we we we're pumping shit out and we're fucking doing all, but I don't. I, I, it could just be the natural movement. No, not the movement the natural cycle of the earth. We just might be at the beginning of the part where, Hey, it's time to get hot again. Um, uh, perfect example. I've heard a couple of, I think this was how they said it in the matrix. As a matter of fact, um, how was, and I, and I, when I heard it, him say it, I was like, Oh, that kind of makes sense. Like we could be, seen as a virus so what happens when you get a virus in your body yeah your body your body fights it try off. to fight it off you get hot to try to fight like your body starts to fight it off we are part of an organism a large organism which the earth is a large organism they okay so i, I this is shit that i just be thinking about so, the universe is vast, huge. Think about a a, a bacteria that's in your gut. Okay. We, we all have bacteria in our gut, which is like there's a whole a whole science on brain gut biome. Yeah, yeah, which, no, absolutely. Which, like because they're saying there's nerves in your gut that um, also are connected to your brain. Like all this shit is connected. And then the the bacteria that's in there helps run everything. Um, again, it's been a long time since I read these studies. Um, so imagine a back to one bacteria in this little section of your body, not knowing how big this entire universe is like to that one bacteria. Yeah. This is a whole nother universe. Yeah. 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 I got you. I got you. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. like, Oh, it, it, it keeps expanding. Like we grow, like as, especially as babies, we grow and we get bigger and bigger and bigger. And we stop growing after a while, but we also, our cells regenerate, which is still kind of expansion. Um, I don't know if I'm making sense. But um, I don't know. I, I guess I'm just saying we don't know. We're actually in 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 the grand stream of the universe. We're smaller than a bacteria that's in our body. You need to smoke more weed, Jared. I swear, you would be like the the best stoner person to hang out with. Uh, I think that would make it worse. Really? Yeah, weed doesn't fucking. It's not good for you, bro. I, I, just, I, I want people to stop thinking smoking weed every day is good for you. It's not. It's Altering your brain in any way is not good. 
It's not good. Altering your brain. It's not good. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it it helps to see things like psychedelics. I'm, I'm all down for that shit in moderation. I don't think people should be smoking weed every day. I think, you, yeah, every now and then, fine. Do what you want to do. I'm not saying not to, but I'm saying don't let that shit think you have to have it at, at because then you're just de- you're you're chemically dependent on something that actually starts to dumb you down a little bit. I am smart. I didn't say you weren't. I'm saying in general, people who do that shit on a regular basis that dumbs them down. I got you. I got you. No, I just that was some pretty deep intellectual shit you were getting on. That's kind of what I was getting at. I think about this shit all the time. That's that's why I'm into space because like. When you think about how big shit is, and then you think the other way, it's like, if you ever seen those those videos of comparisons of it'll it'll show like uh, I don't know, like Earth, then the Sun, then like, and then it'll show uh, the closest star to us, how big that is, and then another star that's a little farther away, but how big that is, and it, and then it just, it, the shit just gets. Mind-boggling, hard to understand. Like, then you start thinking, like, if that shit is that big, what the fuck do I matter in this entire fucking script? Like, am, like, what do I? What does this being that I am vessel matter in the grand scheme of things? That's how I. That's how I feel. Figure that. This can't be the end, I, I, because if you know anything about science, uh, um, conservation of energy, um, like energy cannot be destroyed; it can only be transferred. Yeah. Um, the energy there, there's it, it, our personalities, who we are, the soul is an energy. Yeah, no, no, there, yeah. it's an energy field. Um, what what's the, what's one of the basic Things uh, in in an atom, electrons, yeah, which is energy. Now, you, uh, like atoms can lose electrons, but where are those? It would be probably go somewhere else. So it's just we're all connected in this one big vast energy field. Uh, and and I, it's funny because I was watching this thing the other day. The guy was talking about um, I don't know where I got this deep shit from. This guy was talking about um, how. Uh, fuck, I just fucking lost it. Go on, Jay. Energy fields. Um, fuck, I just lost it. Yeah, it'll come back to me. This is part of being a genius. Say like I'm not a fucking genius. But. Well, I mean, it, it was good. It was good. To be continued, folks, uh, with Jared's intelligent tangent. I wouldn't even call it a tangent. His intellectual properties. Well, you're basically saying, that, like, the atoms and our souls are connected because of molecules and space. Something like that. It was basically to the effect that um, energy, not energy. Uh, the f- fuck, I, I lost it. I just, I just saw this shit the other day and it made me think about it. Uh, it. It may come back to me. I don't think it will, but we'll see. Oh, all right. Well, well, that was good. That was good. Appreciate it. I don't, I don't need you to tell me that. Oh uh, well, I'm just trying to give you some props there, buddy. I'm trying to. Trying to keep you up. I know who the fuck I am. Oh, my God. Here we go. I'm a jerk. But that's okay. Hey, don't fucking hate on me because I'm fucking confident in who I am, motherfucker. Oh, my goodness. I get it. I don't care about this shit, though, dude. All right. So. uh, (laughs) That was for RJ. (laughs) That was yours uh, this time. uh, Yeah. uh, (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. No, I mean. But what we could talk about, we are a tad bit late uh, with it. Uh, it was, uh, what was it, the Golden Globes that was? Uh, oh, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. The Golden Globes that was uh, on uh, just recently. And who was the host? What was the guy's name? I don't know who this guy I is. I don't understand. Okay, so this is what did, what threw me off about the whole thing. Nobody knows who Joy, Joe Coy is. I, I, I don't. I, 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 I honestly don't. Bro, this dude sells out arenas. Yeah, that's great. I'm, I'm not uh, He is one of that. the biggest fucking comedians in the world. Yeah, I've never, if you've talked about you've him. You've never heard of Joe Coy. No, 
dude. That's I've crazy. Never, to I've me. never heard of that guy, dude. That is crazy talk. I was just like, who is this dude? I'm I'm dead serious. It's Joe Coy, he's one of the biggest comedians in the world. He sells out arenas on a regular. He's got a bunch of specials that are on like HBO and fucking net Netflix and all over the fucking place. All right. Well, so I You I know who like, Russell Peters is? I do I am familiar with that. Yes. Okay, so they're like they're on the same level. I just his names never come up. I That's crazy. I'm just being honest. But anyway, know. so there was a bunch of white people who said the same thing. And they were like, I've never heard of this guy. Who's he? he? He said he only had 10 days notice and this, that, and the other thing. I'm like, first of all, you dumb motherfucker. You don't know how comedy works. Just because you have a blue check mark next to your name on TikTok doesn't make you a fucking anybody. I, I, I don't give a fuck. A blue check mark don't mean shit to me. That just means you fucking put a bunch of content up that fucking people just said, okay, blah, blah, blah. You got on the for you. And besides, back in the day. Fucking, it was easy to get fucking blue check marks on TikTok. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Is that like a like an affiliate status kind of thing or like a viral it's, type? It's, it's like verified. Verified. Okay. It's different right. on Twitch now, and I actually, I, my, I, I'm, a, I think I'm about to get my, um, my uh, comedy Instagram page uh, verified because they they sent the fucking things. So I'm like, fuck it, might as well do it. With my all two fifty or no th- three hundred followers now. Woo! That follow me on, good. Follow me on Jared Lee Comedy, by the way. It has gone up pretty quickly. Right? That's good. That's good. Um, Maybe one day you're going to wake up and you're going to be viral. Mm. One day. Anyway, I don't care about that. I just want to fucking make sure that... Um, just for clarification. I'm putting out solid content for people. I, I don't care about that viral shit, man. Like, I, I, when you say solid content, do you mean like <sighs> small portions? No. I mean good shit. Good, funny comedy shit. Okay. I don't fuck. I'm not here to fucking... Do no viral shit. I want to be good, a good stand-up comedian, and I want to fucking. That's what I. I want to be known as a solid comedian. I don't want to be known as this oh the viral guy. You're like fuck that. Yeah, I'm gonna do some skits and maybe one of them will pop off. But you're not gonna know me off of that shit. That's gonna help sell my tickets later. What you're gonna know me for is I'm gonna go to his show and I'm gonna fucking laugh. That's my fucking goal. I I don't give a fuck about. The fucking viral TikToks or viral whatever. Yeah, I got to do it just to fucking stay relevant. Because if not, then you'll never get seen, especially today. You know what I'm saying? It helps. But I don't want to be one of those motherfuckers that was known from the internet first and then went to stand-up. I want to be known for stand-up and then known for the internet. I think that's fair. I, I think it's very fair. I mean, blowing up overnight is probably like a huge mind fuck anyway, dude. Yeah, like look at Matt Reif. Dude. Fucking within a year, blew the fuck up, dude. Yeah, so like, I, but he'd been doing it for ten plus years, maybe maybe more than that. But but doing TikTok, fucking blew up off of TikTok because doing crap, putting crowd work up, and him and Nate Jackson, they're, they're buddies, and they did the same thing. Um, I got a buddy uh, who does comedy. He's got like eight hundred, nine hundred thousand followers on TikTok. I mean. But he's putting the grind in to be a stand-up comedian at the same time. Like, I don't, I don't know if he sells tickets. I don't know. I don't think any of us are at that level where we're even selling out clubs yet. Yeah. Um. Well, yeah, I would think something like that. We're still all early. Time. We're still yeah. all like within three, our first three or four years. And trust me, that's just this is a grind. This is I, I'm gonna be in my fifties before I fucking pop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There you go. What do you mean? There I go. I don't. I don't want that to be that. Well, I'm just saying. Well, I mean, you got a goal, and we're 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 gonna reach it. We're gonna reach well, it. Well, they say you don't get good at comedy until you're ten years in, if you're working. At yeah. It. Um. So yeah. Uh. But anyway, fucking Joe Coy has been he's well known comedian. If you know anything about comedy, um, ten days notice, like he said. I didn't watch the whole monologue. But I, I was just, I was taken aback by the what people were saying about him. And I was like, this dude's a fucking good comedian. Matter of fact, by the way, I saw the numbers because Kevin Nealon's a friend of um, him. You know who Kevin Nealon is. I, I hope. Of course you do because he's white. Um, <laughs> uh, Let's do this. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, he, uh, he posted the numbers and like it was one of the best performing Golden Globes ever. With Joe Coy as the host, so, so from what I took from it, from everything that I I, I watched very brief, uh, just bits of it. I didn't watch like the like you said the whole monologue or anything like that. But it got a lot of 
uh, just negativity all around. And I was thinking, and because I didn't hear of this, you know, I've heard of this gentleman before, I was thinking, oh, maybe he's like a, you know, with my, you know, excuse my ignorance, but like maybe he's like new to the game or something like that. Okay, and, first and, of know, all, know. that that's, and I get it. I didn't know who he was. You're right. It, it is due to your ignorance. Yeah. But they're not going to put no newbie on no fucking Golden Globes. They're not going to put no newbie on the Oscars. Like, that. that's insane. No, and, and I would think, think uh, and, and I would be in the same thought process, but at the same time, I didn't know where this guy, where he came from. I didn't know if it was, like, some TV you, show that I'd you, never seen or you, something. Did you Google him? No, I mean, I didn't do all that. Yeah, then don't say you didn't know who he was if you didn't even attempt to find out who he was. And and I'm not saying you personally. I'm saying all the people who were, because I saw a few clips on it, a lot of people, and it was even Filipino people going against him. He's Filipino, oh. or maybe, I don't know if he's half. But anyway, so a lot of them were like, oh, he's built his whole career on um, just talking about, uh, it, it, like, using his mom's and his, his auntie's accent and this that other thing and i'm like um that's who he is yeah i mean that yeah people were weird dude and and they they were like oh you let us down like bro what the fuck are y'all talking about y'all don't know nothing about comedy like shut the fuck up just watch the shit if you don't like it don't watch the shit and the golden globes and they've been known for the last few years when ricky gervais he did it for five years he has been known as one of the most controversial Cats on the shit. Yeah, the shit that, he says is great. The Golden Globes is a party for the for the, the this is the opposite of the Oscars. These motherfuckers in there drunk and drinking and just having a good time. It's a party for the awards, you know, for like all of entertainment. Because this is the first time there was a few first awards. It was the first time they did a stand up uh in a, on a TV uh stand up special for TV, and there was one other new one that I forgot what it was it wasn't comedy it was something else but all these are new fucking awards and it's like so this is like a celebration instead but instead of and in letting enjoying it and I, I think the actors probably enjoyed it i'm sure there was some people who were like oh i don't know it, he's a comedian be all bomb it, especially 10 days and then oh bro i know i'm on my soapbox right now but then I saw some comments. Like the one guy was like, he was talking about like, oh, he had ten days. I could have wrote a fucking paper. Because uh, in college, I write papers within uh, like the one day. Yeah, I wrote papers in college, fucking ten page papers within the one day that I have to turn it in. But I'm not writing it to be funny in a bunch in front of a fucking millions of people. I'm writing it to, for, for this one motherfucker. He can give me an A or not. I'm not. I'm not writing it to be funny. I'm writing it to fucking just get the fucking grade and get the fuck out of there. So anybody who's commenting that type of shit, fuck off. You ain't talented. That's why you're going to college. You're a loser. Okay, I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all right, you fucking losers. <sighs> anyway. Um, I'm sorry. I just, I get it irritated. But I don't answer these motherfuckers because if I answer them, then, I, then they're going to reply, and then I'm going to have to answer, and then I'm going to get caught in that cycle, and I'm not getting caught in no fucking dumbass cycle with no fucking... Loser mentality people who are going to regurgitate. And I'm not saying it's nothing wrong with college. All I'm saying is you're talking shit about somebody who already made their dreams come true. And you're talking shit and you ain't done shit. That's what I'm fucking talking about. And so the, with um, the two biggest takeaways I took from just uh, everything I kind of uh, kind of analyzed from the situation was... Um, one, he made a joke about the Barbie movie, right? And yeah, I would have made that, a bunch of jokes about that shit too. Cause I didn't even watch it. I, I started to watch it. I, I only wanted to watch it cause for Margot Robbie. And then I just, I was like, okay, I, I'm done. Yeah. She, yeah, she's, she's pretty hot. Um, but the movie it, it did not interest me whatsoever. And so I guess the joke he made was basically the, uh, the he was like, oh, do you know why everybody saw Barbie? He said like boobies or something like that. Yeah. You know, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, and then I was reading some of the angry, obviously responses from people, and they're like, oh, did he even see the movie? He he's doing the he's talking about the exact opposite about what the movie was about, which is what it's like, you know. And I'm just like, I'm bro, yeah, ain't no fucking straight man 
nothing against anybody else, but ain't no straight man going to see Barbie unless his kid wants to see it. Yeah. His girl wants to see it. Or he's going to look at some fucking titties. Yeah. That's yeah. period. Bottom line. I don't give a fuck. That name me another reason why somebody would go a straight man would go see that. I have no interest in ever watching that movie. Exactly. I mean, it's it's geared towards a certain audience, you know. And, exactly. And so, I mean, and that that applies to certain other things too. That I, it's like, uh, for example, musicals. Right. I I I do not like musicals. Oh, I fucking I hate musicals. Yeah, I can't stand them. There's like two musicals that I'll watch: um, West Side Story and what was the other one. There was one other one. It's Gone with the Wind is it a musical? Is it? That's a movie. Uh, yeah, it's a movie. Yeah. Uh, there was one other one. Yeah, West Side Story, and there was one other one. I just can't put my. I, those are the only two that I fuck with. Oh, uh, Filler on the Roof. Only two musicals I fuck with. All right. Um, what I was going to say, yeah, so that that is geared towards a certain audience, right? So I'm like, oh, I don't like this stuff, so I'm not going to watch it. So I'm not just saying I'm not watching Barbie because it's about women and it's about Barbie. I just have no interest in watching that film. No, I agree. Um, again, I tried to start watching it, and it was late at night when I was watching it. But now I was just like, I just don't have any interest in it. But guess what I did watch right after that? Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. And guess what it got? Actually, it got a bunch of awards. It, it did. Uh, Christopher Nolan finally got a Golden Globe. Uh, got a Golden Globe. Um, uh, Iron Man. Yeah. Got Best Supporting Actor. If you don't know who Iron Man is, then uh, I question your whole livelihood and you should probably yeah you've definitely been yeah even well if you stay under the rock because you definitely haven't come out from under it yeah um oh this is patrick uh what i was gonna say is um then somebody else won in that too uh didn't the gentleman who uh actually plays him uh win oh yeah yeah Yeah, Um, best uh, best best actor actor. yeah yeah uh chillian michael yeah peaky blinders he's thomas thomas shelby what i was gonna say jared so I was actually going to talk tell you this is that I haven't seen Oppenheimer yet because it's streaming. It's going to be on Peacock here in a few weeks, so I was going to wait for it to stream on that before I watched it. What you should do is just buy the physical copy. Uh, you know what? It's I, out on Blu-ray right now. You know what? I think I actually might do that. Twenty-one it's long, bucks. It, it's it's been a long time since I've actually bought a DVD Blu-ray. Well, now that you bring that up, that's a good thing to bring up because um, I have. Been thinking. I, I I'm gonna buy it also just because I want to see the the clear the better clarity of what I had. I I was watching it in HD, but I could get a better quality with a Blu-ray. Mm-hmm. But there's also this thing recently of streaming networks or streaming services, I should say, taking movies down that you've bought already. Like even on, I think PlayStation is one of them. Yeah, where like you purchased it and thinking you're buying it to have it, and because they can no longer carry it on their service, they remove it from your library. Remove it from your library. And um, I haven't personally checked because I did buy Django Unchained on PS3, so I haven't checked to see if it's still on there. Um, But I'm curious to find out. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, so I've seen a bunch of articles recently saying, like, um, it, you should probably start buying physical again just because if you want to watch a movie that you haven't seen in a long time and if it's not on any streaming service that you're paying for at the moment, yeah, um, then what are you going to do? You're just going to yeah, be no. out of watching your favorite movie, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. So I do, I actually, I had a pretty decent-sized DVD collection. There's actually some, uh, obviously. I still have yeah, mine. Yeah. Um, there's a pretty decent-sized amount in this closet off here that uh, nobody can see that I actually, have. Uh, when you, uh, w- when we did that one thing, anyway, you, that's where mine were. Yeah. I don't um, know, if you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. no, no, no. Um, Nah, man, nothing like a and good I got DVD some classic. Collection. Yeah, yeah, no, I've got some good shit, dude. I've got I need some to real get good a, shit. I need to get an actual shelf to put them on um, just to fucking... Yeah, I think I'm going to start buying physical media again. Um, yeah, let's support the homies. And um, and, and as, soon, as soon as I saw that article with, with uh, Christopher Nolan saying that, I, I went up immediately on uh, Amazon to see if it was available. And it was. It was $44 at the time. I'm like... 
I'm not yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I went. <laughs> Hold re- on, Chris. <laughs> yeah. Then I went back um, like a couple of days later, I refreshed, and it was like 21. So yeah. I'm like, all right, I can do that. But I want to do it. And I'm not saying Oppenheimer was like the. I don't. I don't want to say it was the best film ever. Yeah, that was going to be my next I question. I wouldn't even say it's Christopher Nolan's best film, in my opinion. Okay. Maybe I need to watch it again. It does look like something you might have to watch more than one time. Yeah, yeah. Just from... no, I liked it. Um, I liked it. But I also watched uh, Napoleon recently. Okay. Um, it's funny because we uh, did a trivia. We had a trivia question the other is that the one with uh, Joaquin Phoenix in it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And, uh, and I happened to watch it, and then we had a trivia question the other week on it. Um, and it was, as soon as, I, I knew it immediately because it has the dates of when certain things happened in the ah, movie. Ah, I got you. So then they were like, yeah, in 1815, uh, in blah, 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 Vienna, what warrior, once he relinquished his power, this, that, and other thing, this happened. And I was like, Wrote the shit. I was. I knew it was imme- immediately Napoleon because I had just watched the shit the night before. Yeah. Not, oh, that, that, not, that's not, not many, working out for you. Not many other people who fucking had watched the movie and got that question, or, or unless you're a real history buff, you wouldn't have gotten that question. And I just happened to watch the fucking movie the night before, and and for some reason I remember dates. Yeah. Very well, dates and. I, I, for some reason, I remember sometimes cities, too. I, uh, I don't know. I, I remember the weirdest shit. I do, too. Like, when, growing up, I, I, would remember, I could remember horsepower of every car that I that I was into. I could probably still do it if I really paid attention. But horsepower, I could remember the back, the even at night, the fucking shapes of the, the, the lights of the car in front of me. No matter what car it was, I'd be like, that's a fucking Lincoln blah, blah, blah. That's a fucking whatever. And... I, could, I don't do practice it anymore, but I just remember random knowledge. And people would be like, how the fuck do you know that? I just, I don't know. I just, it's up here. I don't. <laughs> I have random information too. I know. I think I everybody say has you their... didn't have it. I'm just telling you. No, uh, I was going to say, um, well, I'm glad uh, that was going to be my next question um, is how did you like it? Cause I'm very much looking forward to watching it here. What? Uh, Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. And it's, it, it's good. It's a, it's a science movie. Yeah. Um, it's also a film, but it's it's pretty science heavy. Um, not like too much where people wouldn't understand. Okay, I got you. But it's it, it's I, I guess I understood it because I I worked in the like university atmosphere, and there's a lot of that. And then I've also worked in the military atmosphere, and there's a lot of that also. So like all that is combined. It just kind of ra- well, and given the time period that it takes place too, um, it is kind of oh, yeah, yeah. Obviously, kind of. You, you should watch it. Um, oh, I'd, I'm definitely going to. I um, I would I, I would definitely order it. Just order it on Prime. Or and something. then, what did you think of uh, Napoleon? Um, Napoleon. Just, um, that's a uh, Ridley Scott film, by the way. Uh, I liked it. I I need to watch it again. I was falling asleep. During it, only because it was really late. Uh, but I, I, I was like, it was interesting enough to keep me awake, even yeah. though I was falling asleep. No, that's always a that's always a good uh, that's that's when you know you got something good when you know you got to go to bed, but you got to keep watching it. Well, my thing is because I, I always I always look when there's some shit to do with history, I always end up looking up um, the facts. Like I want to know, all right, what what really happened here? Like because there was a lot of things I didn't know about Napoleon. I knew he was just war guy and I thought he was like this like just major just didn't give a fuck guy which he really is in the movie he kind of like I like fuck everybody like I'm doing this type of I shit. am your king um he wasn't king right away yeah well, I didn't even know he was a fucking I didn't know he was king of fucking France for like at first for uh hmm. ever I didn't know he was a king of France I just thought he was a fucking general oh okay um did you know he was a king I would like to say at some point, it, it had to have come across in history class at some point in our I, lives. It never yeah. came across to me. I, I think we skimmed over it for the most part. It's very possible, but I just, I want to say yes, I did. But I'm telling I, you, bro, I'm time. pretty sure we skimmed over fucking Napoleon being emperor of fucking France. Once I put it this way, if we were to, uh, 
well, I, we don't have to do it now, but if I were to just kind of like when I'm laying in bed tonight, I'll just kind of scrolling through Google and I read like the context of everything that happened in that time period, then I could be like, oh, I did kind of learn something like this. Or I could be like, oh, this isn't really familiar if to you me at all. If you remember it, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what you retained and what you didn't retain. Like that's impossible for me to know. Um, but I, I learned a lot. Um, there was, uh, of course, there's an exaggeration of certain things like the Egypt shit, how that, that's supposedly not true that, um, he was the one that blew the nose off the Sphinx. Um, that's, that's a myth. Yeah. Um, but they put that in the movie. Well, I like little things like that though, but it's not true. Oh, well, I know, but I like, I like myths and like little mysterious. It's like, how did this get, you know, just like the pyramids themselves and stuff like that. No, I think, um, for me, the other thing was that I learned, uh, that I forgot is like military schools, uh, and military, just military throughout the world, still still study him to this day as far as uh, how he maneuvered his troops. And, and, and then you see it, like, when he's in, like, the fight scenes. The fight scenes are crazy. Yeah. Well, it's a Ridley that's Scott what, film. I would that's expect what I, nothing less. That's what I liked the most about it was the fight scenes. Um, but, yeah, like, you know, you, I was like, oh, shit. That's why he's known as, like, one of the most brilliant fucking – generals of all time and like it's it, i'm gonna check this out too it, honestly it's, I, like, it's 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 worth a watch uh because the reason and, and i would check it out eventually but i remember when it came out uh very recently it was yeah, you it was know this year. It was yeah just, or uh, that la- early or late last year it was like uh, november last year um i just remember i read like a very brief review on it and they were like ah it's okay and then i was just like ah you know whatever and then it's okay it, it, like I, I guess that's what i said uh, it's it's okay but it's worth the watch I got um, you. I, like I said, I want to watch it again. Um, but I like watching those types of movies again because I might I, I might catch something that I didn't catch before. It it, it didn't even makes you think about the times that during those times, like it was wild. One thing that I did think about during that, after watching it, was if it was not for how Napoleon was. France would have been way more fucked during World War One and Two because he was al- he already had established them as like a fucking power. Yeah. Um, especially going against the English and shit. Yeah. Like you going against the English, the Russians, and fucking all kinds of other people, and holding your own. And it like it, and that's why the English. There's in, people in the UK now that they hate the French because they were always fucking fighting each other, beefing. Yeah, beefing is like we like like we like to say. But yeah, like if it wasn't for him, I swear I'm telling you, bro. Like they would have been ran over like some of them other countries. Like like Poland got ran over. Uh, few few other countries. No, I do over. like uh, time uh, periodic pieces like that. You know, just from like oh, uh, whether uh, his, uh, you know like. Ancient Greece or or what or whatever the UK you know just that's the reason it, Gladiator was such a great movie, um and it's uh, it's still a great movie folks and uh, it, also directed it, by Ridley Scott and it's not even um which I think they're doing a get Gladiator too as long uh, as it's fucking awesome dude I'm completely fine with that they don't um they 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 exaggerate they Hollywood it but they still add. The history of it, yeah, and I that's think, that's what I love about. You know, it's funny you say that. I think about it. I think a lot of those more uh, uh, movies. I think a lot of them in uh, in our lifetime have actually been very successful. I think of stuff like like The Last Samurai. It was like very wildly popular. You know, I'm just talking about like people older. hated on The Last Samurai. Um, and I, I, I and, and you know what? And uh, I know I'm talking a lot, but no, 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 I'm just scratching my head. Um, I um. I recently saw something that validated my thoughts on The Last Samurai. Like how everybody's like, oh, um, talking shit. Like, oh, how can Tom Cruise be the last samurai and this, that, and everything? It was like, no. Tom Cruise was not the last samurai. They were talking about samurai, the plural. Yeah. Samurai is plural and singular. Just like Jedi is plural and singular. And oh, guess yeah. what? And guess what? Jedi are based on samurai. You know, it's crazy. I've really never thought about it like that in terms uh, of... Uh, that's the fucking shit. That's yeah. what it's based... That's what the fucking Jedi are based on. They're ba- based on a sat- samurai. But 
So the last samurai is the end of the samurai, the last of the samurai. Yeah, no, no, that actually makes a lot of sense. No, but I was more so talking about like the whole singular and plural version of it. Like you don't say samurai, the last samurai, samurai. You're right. Is yeah. is okay? But yeah, no, I would have, uh, I would not have brought, broken it down like that. So uh. there's nothing to break down. That's how it is broken down. Like okay, so let's put it this way. Let's think think about this. In Star Wars. The dark side, like the the, the 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 empire, is based on the Nazis during what World War Two. And the Jedi are based on the samurai from J- feudal Japan. And I'll even go a step further: the prequels, when Order sixty six is brought about, that's when the last samurai takes place. It's the last of the Jedi. The Jedi mm-hmm. get. Order sixty six. All right, yeah, no, that's uh, that's a good one. Come on, man. All right, yeah, no. Come on, man. Open your window. Breathe some air. Uh, Come on, man. Uh, uh, well, let's do this. Uh, well, well, since we're talking about Tom Cruise, I know that you recently posted something that they're making another Top Gun movie, another Maverick. Hold up. Yes, sir. Uh, so, how does uh, this kind of came out of nowhere? If I had to be like, um. Uh, yeah. You can't tell me that we and, that and, we and, had any indication and, that there'd be another movie. And a couple of the same people are coming back too. We'll probably see this in what 2028 <laughs> probably or, or something it's of that. It's probably age. a long way away, but we are confirmed as long as well, I mean, he's got the Scientology medicine, so he'll probably be alive for a yeah, long yeah, time. Yeah, I know. Tom Cruise is going to outlast all of us, dude. <laughs> yeah. We've come to... That's why he never ages and still makes films. He's going to hes gonna be entertaining the people that come after us. That's still what, the, he's still the best. Um, hey, look, we just talked about two fucking Tom Cruise movies. Yeah, well, because, I mean, the guy's... Uh, the guy's got hits. There are no bad Tom Cruise movies, and uh, there's, there's just not. Uh, yeah. No, uh, I, I don't think there's anything. Even if it's not great, it's still not bad. If if that makes sense, name one that was not great though. It's kind of hard, dude. It's very yeah, hard. It's I'm thinking. Hard. I'm thinking Vanilla Sky. That was good. that movie's actually very. It's interesting. It's very interesting. I didn't get it fully, but um, yeah, when he goes to the sign, he's got like no face and shit. And uh, like, yeah, that movie was weird. Let's see, especially watching it as a kid. Minority like, Report. Oh, uh, that's incredible. Um. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Does Tom Cruise make bad movies, folks? What? No, no, we no don't. We don't. Way. Put it in the comments yeah. below. Yeah, if there's a movie, or do you like Tom Cruise? Because if you don't, uh, that, that, uh, don't ask that question. Uh, yeah, that's a loaded question. Because my like, he jumped on Oprah's couch. Oh, here, fuck I'll off! T- I'll tell you that. Fuck mo- off! Fuck off! Tom Cruise is one of the best actors of all time, and the best filmmakers, directors, producers. That we will have, and you're blessed to still have this motherfucker. You know. So what? stop fuck, stop the cap, folks. Stop the fucking cap. Quit capping. Quit capping. I Jerry to... Maguire. Another great movie. Do I need to name more? He put fucking Cuba Gooden Jr. on the map, bitches. Show me the money. I'm surprised we don't have that as a sound bit, honestly. Well, <laughs> Guess what, bitch? Mm. I fucking say add some more shit, but you never fucking tell well, me anything. I just thought of it right now. God. Uh, okay, write it down and send it to me. That's not going to work. And first of all, nobody can even see what you're doing. <sighs> this is what I have to work with, ladies and gentlemen. And, and we're working. but It's still know, not going to fucking Austin with me in January. But Since we're talking about directors... And Tom Cruise and how great of a director he is and just every accolade that well, he has in Hollywood. I don't know if he does too much directing, but well, I, I, he, I meant, I meant uh, executive producing. Well, he, he is Hollywood, all wrapped into one. Yeah, true. There was uh, a couple weeks ago, there was some, some, some chatter coming about from a certain director directing a certain franchise that me and you hold very near and dear to our hearts. Mm-hmm. And um, it was a little discouraging, this uh, quote, if it is in fact true. Um, cause you never know what you find on the internet. However, uh, the newest director of star Wars, she apparently had made a quote or a statement and somewhere along the lines. Said no, she I w- saw the video. I, she made it. Oh, so it was an actual video of this. Okay. Yes. I only saw like the, the article. It was that like a comic con or something. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah. So pull it up. So she wants to make grown men uncomfortable when it comes to star yeah, Wars. She was like, anytime I can make grow. Hold on. I need to do 
two things. Hold on, real quick. While I do this, and and while and while Jared's looking that up, and and as a grown man and grown grown men here on this show, nobody likes being uncomfortable. Uh, you know what's uncomfortable when the doctor tells you to turn your head and cough, when your doctor puts that glove on and asks you to, you know, bend over. You know that's uncomfortable. I want to enjoy my Star Wars. I want to enjoy it. I want to. I want to relish in the nostalgia. I want to hear the zoom, zoom, and I want to hear bop, 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 and I want to hear it over and over I hate, again. I hate when you do that. I know, but you, but it's not just you. Somebody else did that on on. I was watching RP earlier, and they did the same thing. And I hate I hate when people make that noise. It sounds the you make it yourself sounds like the biggest fucking nerd. Like, don't do that. Don't do that, <laughs> guys. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Yeah, don't 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 go bump 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 bump. That sounds you sound like a fucking weirdo. Uh, stop! Come on, dude, it's great. Anyway, um, that's what Star Wars is. I don't want to go there and watch a bunch of. Okay, all right, relax. You're you're about to go into a realm that you don't want to go into, and you're gonna get canceled. Um. So anyway. All right, Jared's got the the. the so here's up. from Forbes magazine. Oh, fucking ooh, get our top stories delivered straight to your inbox every day. <laughs> Don't advertise for them. I'm sorry, bro. it's just hilarious. You're aggravating me right now. Oh, calm down. I'm trying. All right, so we got, we got the link up. So yeah. here's a headline. This is from Forbes magazine. Um, it says Star Wars directors make men uncomfortable. Quote is eight years out of context. Whatever that means. Oh, okay. I see what they're saying. Basically, because <laughs> the picture right below it is is Ray, who was from the the second trilogy or whatever, or the newer trilogy. The, I guess that would be the third trilogy. Yeah, the third trilogy. Yeah. Um. So yeah, eight years too late. She wants to make men uncomfortable. That's fine. You can make us uncomfortable all you want. Uh. But if your shit sucks, we're not going to watch it, period. So the reason I wanted to talk about this, my main thing is, I don't understand. Maybe she turned it down, but, and and we already know from experience that she makes the best episodes of one of our favorite shows, Mm -hmm. which is The Mandalorian. Of course. Bryce Dallas Harper, or Howard, I'm sorry. Uh, Ron Ron Howard's daughter. Not only is she hot, and she's in the fucking Jurassic Park movies, movies, um, but she's also directed some of my favorite episodes in the Mandalorian. Of all the in in throughout the whole Mandalorian series, mm-hmm. why not get her to direct this shit? This is what I'm not understand. Why we're we getting this person, who doesn't, in my opinion even know what star Wars is. If she's, if her whole vendetta or not vendetta, but, uh, uh, intention is to make men uncomfortable. Then why, why? I don't, I'm I'm not, I'm I'm not understanding what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. You have a clearly better person. If you wanted to be a female director, fine. Because all the other ones, <laughs> you're laughing, I'm, but I'm being dead no, serious. I'm fine. See this, is, this is what I, this is what I have an issue with. Like when I'm fucking, like, serious, dead serious about shit, and people laugh at my like, I don't even be seeing the shit. It's funny. <laughs> it's just your reaction. It's fine. just just me. It's like fine. You can have the fucking. You can have your woman, and I'm not saying that in a direct way. I'm just being facetious the way I'm saying it. But like I said. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> yeah, dude. You can have a woman director. And I get it. There's never been a woman director in all of the Star Wars films. Fine. You want to do that? Let's do it. I'm all for it. But don't bring nobody in here that's going to fucking suck ass. Yeah, no, because uh, me and Jared will be the first to tell you we don't have a problem with Ray being a the female lead in the. In the yeah, the I didn't give a fuck like, about yeah, it. Yeah, I, yeah. I liked watching the fucking movie. Yeah. And it, it, like Jared kind of reiterated in his fine tangent, um, is that if your shit is not good, nobody is going to watch it. And if you're creating a product that is only going to banter your 
diehard loyal fan base, you're doing something wrong, and you shouldn't be in charge you know of that. I want to bring up the episodes that Bryce Dallas Harper directed. Let, let's pull it up. Let, let's pull them up. But uh, no, seriously, we're we're all for the uh, you know female directors, female leads. That, that all that stuff is good, man. But when you go out and say shit like that and. I don't know, man. It just doesn't give me a lot of faith in what you're going to make. And like Jared says, it it does sound like the person saying that doesn't really know what Star Wars is or cares about it. Now, granted, we're all taking this from what uh, Jared saw in, a, in, a, in the video snippet from her conference or whatever and me reading it off of an article. But... No, it was, it, there was a bunch of... It was like a... <laughs> it was, a, it was a, a female pep rally. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't we're not to... trying to sound chauvinist or anything. Yeah, no, not at all, it's, not it's at all. Just, please, it's just I don't know. Uh, again, this is that far woke shit that that, that I'd be talking about. Um, right, let me see, where is it? So she directed two episodes premiering. Yeah, so yeah, so 2019, 2020, and see, these are some of the best episodes ever. Uh, I need to make it bigger so people can see. Why the fuck? I goddamn hate Google. Not Google. Taking over the world one thing at a time. Bryce Dallas Howard, bro. She's a beast. And she understands Star Wars. Yeah, you got to understand Star Yeah, man, God. So whatever that woman's going to direct, it's probably not going to do very well. And I kind of hope it doesn't, honestly, because I I hate that shit. See, see, she directed two episodes premiering in 2019 and 2020 of the Disney Plus series The Mandalorian. Howard referred to the large... to the larger Star Wars universe as an asset to storytelling and sought to maintain character depth and appeal to viewers. You know what that sounds like, Jared? That sounds like a real American to me. That that sounds like a fucking Star Wars fan. (laughs) Yeah, a fan. Well, uh, do you know what? Hey, do you know what? Not a fucking person with an agenda. It sounds like a fan. Do you know what football players are? They're fans because they grew up watching people they were fans of. Do you know what hip-hop artists are? They're rappers because they grew up fans of music and possibly hip-hop. It's crazy, bro. Do you know what directors and actors are? They're fans. Not Not to mention, ladies and gentlemen... She's also been in some of your favorite, Jura- if you're a Jurassic Park fan, guess what? She's been in those, too. I think Jurassic Park is, like, by and far. And she's got a movie coming out soon uh, directed by the guy um, who did the Kingsman. Uh, uh, oh, I know those movies. Well, yeah, but there's a new movie coming out. She's in it. She plays, like, a reporter or something. Ooh, reporter. Hot reporter. Does well, she have glasses? No. Oh, damn it. Relax. Like, we're trying to pump her up to, like, yeah, to, yeah, yeah. To Look at give me. her the job, and yeah, you're yeah. trying to make her sound like a fucking object. Yeah. Oh, shame on me. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I take it back. I do. Um, what I was gonna say is, um, no, but yeah, you got to be a fan of what you're what you're doing, um, in order for it to be successful. And like I said, those two episodes she directed, uh, two of my favorite episodes of The Mandalorian of all four, se- well, three seasons, well, four seasons. They're they're in they're. Fourth, fourth season's in the works. Yeah, and then they're making a movie, too. And they're making a movie. Yeah. yeah. So, hopefully, maybe they'll get her to do that one. Uh, I'm all for I'm all for good Star Wars. We Let me ask are you all for good Star I, Wars. I don't know if you pay attention to this. Who is Who in the Mandalorian episodes do you think your favorite director is? I Dude, you know what? We've ta- had this conversation a lot. I can tell you no, what some of my favorite. No, I don't think we actually said who our favorites are. I don't know a lot of them by name, but I can tell you what my favorite episodes are, and with your knowledge. Um, okay, what are your favorite uh, episodes? One of my more recent favorite episodes, believe it or not, is was a, what, what was that guy's name? Uh, Candace Bain or whatever it was? Um, um, you're talking about the, the blue guy? Yeah, yeah. That episode. That was, no, that wasn't uh, Mandalorian. That was uh, Boba Fett. I'm almost, are you sure? Yes. Uh, he might have done one. Um, yeah, no, but I remember that because the dude from the dude from Justified was in one. That was later. That, that, yeah, that, no, that was like episode. That was like see, the end of season two or something. I I liked that episode a lot, just the build up to who was coming and then him walking up with the, yeah, the that sunset. Was, that you know, was Boba Fett. That, that was Boba Fett. Okay. Yeah. Um, I <laughs> that was a Mandalorian season two point five. Well, I was I was getting close, but I really enjoyed that. Um, I don't I, think that was her. That that might have been. Um, uh, Filoni. Okay, I enjoyed obviously the season one finale when you know Luke is revealed. Filoni's uh, a good director too, uh, but he's also uh, he's like George Lucas's kind of right hand man. I liked the episode as crazy as it sounds. Is I liked the episode where the um, the young one was snatched by the monster and they all try to go save him. 
uh, or they end up saving them and all that stuff. Oh, two God. of those. The, yeah, no. <laughs> and then there's one. There's an episode with the dark saber. I think it's kind of towards the end oh of the... Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. You're not giving... There's a bunch of episodes with a dark No, saber. but it was, like, when it really, like, went down. And like, I see the scenes in my head. I cannot... Uh, obviously, it's been a while since... I can see them in my head, but I can't remember exactly which episode. Never mind. Uh, RJ doesn't pay attention to things like I do. Uh, that's cool. Um, moving on to the next thing. All right. So, you were talking about um, Star Trek Four. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I've uh, recently come across an article... And it just kind of piqued my interest. I was like, huh, you know what, uh, Jared, being the big Star Trek, the Trekkie that you are, uh-huh. and me being a fan of the recent J.J. Abrams movies, and, and I do like the some of the originals uh, as well. He only, he, did, he only did two. He only did two, and then who did the other one? Uh, some dude. I forgot who did it. J.J. Uh, Abrams didn't do one because he was doing Star Wars. He did the first Star Wars. Uh, yeah, that's of the, right. Of the new ones. So he did two and three, right, for Star Trek? Or no, did he do one and three? I think he did one, one and, three. and three. I think. Well, yeah, one and three. Um, but there was, it was just like, where is Star Trek four? And I was, you know, sitting there like, where is it? You know, um, so well, I was reading a little bit about it, mm-hmm. and they were, uh, from what I read, it was basically saying that uh, it's something that has been in the works and something that's been discussed, but it's been in some sort of uh, limbo because it's been about eight years since the third film has come out. And, yeah. and apparently that's the biggest gap in Star Trek movies since they their conception, as crazy as that sounds. Um, I don't know if I'm entirely in tr- – I don't think I'm inclined to believe that. I No, I, I, I'm pretty sure that's what it said in the article. It said bef- th- this eight-year of, span. Of the, of the new movies. No, just of Star Trek no. movies in general. And No, no, that, that's impossible. It, please send me that, and if if I'm wrong, I I will fucking correct it. But I don't yeah, think that's, say, that's not. Yeah, I'll send you the link. No, but then it got eight me. years is the longest gap between. So you're telling me from the last uh, of the original cast, uh, William Shatner, Leonard Nimoy, uh, Patrick Stewart. No, and you're you're still wrong. No, 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 no. But I'm talking about the films. What do you, what do you mean? No, I, I'm talking about the films. Patrick Stewart was not in the any of the original films. I know, but what I'm saying. So what do you say? I am saying that the article is stating that pull, from pull that from, pull that article. Yeah, up. here, here. Let's pull it up. Let's pull it up. Hold on. Let's find it. That from the conception of the movie. Where? No, no. Look it up. Yeah. Because so. where the fuck did you get Patrick Stewart when I said Leonard Nimoy and fucking William Shatner? Oh, well, he's in some of the movies, is he not? He's in one of the movies. Wait, what? Okay, mm-hmm. bruh. You're you're killing me right now. So hold on. Let's so see. you had I'm I'm scrolling. The forward. original movies with the original cast from the original show. Okay, so looking at the forty five year history of Star Trek on the big screen, we see that the first four Room Shatler led films were produced and released over the course of seven years, from nineteen seventy nine to nineteen eighty six, while the entire run of six movies from the motion picture in 1979 to the undiscovered country in 1991 happened over the span of 12 years. All sp- oh, and hold on, all four Patrick Stewart Next Generation pictures were made over the course of eight years, from generations from 94 to Nemesis in 2022, and the Chris Pine reboot series may have slowed things down some after its 2009 debut, but still managed to do three movies in seven years. But that brings us back to Star Trek IV, the untitled and presumed capper to the Pine iteration of the franchise. So, basically, all the movies are made within an eight-year time span. From that I, article. That I can understand, and I believe that, but what you said was not what that just said. Yeah, but from the conception of the first movie... Up until this very last one, there's been no span greater than seven years. So eight years is the longest without a film. Okay, I, I, I think what's happening is we're looking at this two different ways. Or, or maybe, I don't know. So the way that just, uh, article just explained it was, again, like I was about to tell you, the William Shatner, Leonard Nimoy, which was the original cast, that happened over, they said, between, what, 70-something and 89? Yeah. yeah, so from 79 to 86. Okay, so 70, 79 to 86. 
All right. Okay, those are the original films. All right. So then there was no Star Trek until the Next Generation series. In 94. And that is and that, then, that is about eight. But years. then after the the show was over, set the show, show was seven seasons. Then they did movies and they did uh, generations, and then you said what? Nemesis was the last one. Which yeah, and that was in two thousand. Ha- yeah, hated. no, that no, my dad hated that too. I hated Nemesis. Yeah, um, but uh, that's in twenty two thousand two. Excuse yeah, me, I was so gonna say twenty twenty. What is that? That's a twelve years or is that eight years? That's from ninety. That's uh, that's eight years. No, yeah, that's eight years from okay. 94 to 2002, yeah. Okay, so then you have this new series that came out in what? 2009. 2009. So, yes, they're breaking the, the thing, but that doesn't uh, – shit has changed and Hollywood has changed, so, like, I get it. Like, And then we got we had the writer strike and all that shit, so – Oh, yeah, I forgot. Apparently, though, I, I read an article that said it's back under development, so I, I don't think there's – well, as long as it's being developed, I mean, I enjoy I know, the, the, the I, newer trilogy. I know there's an origin fucking story in the works, which we already know because, first of all, uh, Enterprise, the series, already went through that. We already know how fucking Star Trek works. And one of the um, middle of the movies, uh, one of the Next Generation series of movies, went over that, too. That's, where, that's how we know how the Vulcans came down uh, because... They they built a fucking warp ship because uh, the Enterprise ended up going back in time, just like one of the earlier fucking uh, movies, the the one from seventy nine to eighty six. They went back in time to save the whales. So it's just, yeah, I've seen all this shit. Not he's seen it. And, and like he's I, synced I, it. I'm too much of a Trekkie fan not to fucking know what the fuck I'm talking about when it comes to this shit. Like I'm more of a Trek fan. Then I am a Star Wars fan. Oh, I know that. Well, I say that, but then well, I know Star Wars. I, also, I know. Uh, I know. Has also been more recent in recent years too, um, with the the trilogy coming out and all the Disney. Uh, uh, sir, there's series. There's a bunch of series on Star Trek. Too. I, 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 I know that too, but I'm just saying. In, in just recently, I just feel uh, Disney and Star Wars is kind of not gonna the, lie. Fucking Discovery was good. Um, what was it? There's two of them. There's Discovery, there's Strange New Worlds, and there's I thought there was one other one. Anyway, Strange New Worlds I, is I think is my favorite of, of all the new Star Trek series right now. It just reminds me of old school Star Trek. Gives you that good old old grainy feel. Yeah, like oh. like what what it what it means to be Star Trek. I like that. I like yeah. that. I like that very much so. Sound like you like touching yourself. <laughs> it does sound a little creepy when I do talk like that. It does. And I'm not a creep. I'm not. Emotional damage. That happens to all of us as we get older. You know, just saying. But, 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 but. I do want to make everybody aware. Well, it's not well, done. Now, is it? Wait, maybe it makes everybody aware of what? Well, that, uh, that we are one day closer to Grand Theft Auto 6. Oh. Yeah. Nice little, uh, well, yeah. Well, one day is uh, one day and uh, uh, one week. It's not about how you start the journey, man. It's how you finish it, bro. I'm, uh, uh, I'm, me personally though. I'm looking forward to seeing how RP is going to work in GTA Six. Oh, it's going to be on another level, brother. I already, know. I know. Uh, I already can tell you that it's going to be you, a new wave. You, are you even watching any? Like, are you even watching any? RP, like, to even understand what I'm talking about half the time when I'm talking about it? No, because I've been watching a lot of shit that for stuff I've been playing lately. But I understand the, I mean, I've I don't seen think, it no, enough. You got to watch it, bro. No, you mean you've seen it enough. You've seen what enough? Tell, tell, tell me something about the RP world. You tell me about the RP world. I'm not going to tell you about the RP world, Jared. Because you know you're, nothing. Uh, because because you know you, it, nothing. You don't want to listen to logic. Ladies mm. and gentlemen, he knows nothing. Apparently not. So, therefore, for the rest of the show, you're going to listen to the sound of These my voice. These three angles are fucking amazing. We, now, we should have been having three angles. Here, do it again. Switch the camera again. Oh, Hold on. Fuck off. Come on, do it again. Do it one more time. Yeah, there fuck we off. go. It's cool. You can see me. <laughs> you can see me. And still. Da- 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 dance around. But, yeah, one day closer to Grand Theft Auto 6. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I know you that you... Had uh, kind of posted something that... Guess what, guys? He still can't tell me anything about RP. Because you're not going to let me finish my fucking thought, Jared. That's why. So- he was a fat phase on liar. 
That, that, that has nothing to do with lying. That is, that is the <laughs> truth. It is the truth, folks, and we all know this. Just go on. Anyway, so uh, T-Pain, um, who is an avid R, uh, RP player. Uh, it's, it's, uh, let's relax. Let's relax on the avid. Uh, avid or, or <laughs> He or played. Some, He's not he, avid. Okay, so somebody who participates in the realm of world that I do not understand. Exactly. So let me explain to you. So there was a video that came out, uh, I guess, from his podcast because T Pain is also he's also streams on Twitch, uh, like we do every Saturday here uh, on Twitch or on YouTube for the live uh, on Monday mornings. Um, he also played on No Pixel. I don't have access to No Pixel. Uh, no Pixel is one of those. Um, if you're a big streamer uh, and you can bring eyeballs to the server, and you're a good role player. Uh, you can get in. Now, T Pain is not the first uh, artist that was on No Pixel. There's another. Uh, he's a UK rapper named P Money, who I listen to. He's a fucking beast. Uh, and a lot of these people, they create music. Like, there's record labels in the server. Like, there's Wu Chang Records. Uh, they they just did a excuse reset. Me. They just did a reset. Don't say excuse me while I'm talking. Well, dude, I burped. Yeah. So. Burp off fucking All right, mic. dude, it's just fucking reactionary. Right, now Sorry. He's, now he's going to spit in the fucking mic. Jeez, oh, Louise, man. Like, let me have some manners. Sorry. No manners me over my fucking shit. Well, I'm just trying to like, excuse the crowd, the customer. The, they don't the, the, fucking the, know if you're not looking at you. Well, they can hear me. That's, there's a microphone in front of me. Like, my voice is traveling through it right now at the speed of light. Or maybe faster. I don't know. Uh, be the speed of sound. Speed of sound. Oh, yeah, because it's my voice. Ugh. All right, continue. That's the speed of light. And it's fucking bright. I'll tell you that one. Oh, man, don't look at it. Anyway, um, so, yeah. So, he was on No Pixel. There was a video on his podcast where he, because he sits in front of his gaming chair, and he, he'll game, and he'll be on Twitch. Sometimes he'll rap. The fuck? Okay. No, all right. Did we lose something? I, I don't know. Uh, Everything seems to be looking okay. Uh, let me close that. I don't know where that came from, but anyway. Uh, anyway, so um, he basically said on his stream that uh, he was he used to be on No Pixel, and he loved playing it, and he had to stop playing it because he was going to be working on GTA Six. Oh, so we now officially know that T Pain is going to be in GTA Six somehow, some way. Um, basically he was saying he's looking forward to get back on RP. Yeah, no, I mean, they, they said for whatever reason, they didn't want his music to interfere. Like, cause like I was saying, like they have record labels in the game and artists will create their own music and they will be part of different record labels. Like there's, uh, there was, uh, Mandem records and there's Wu Chang records and these like real legitimate artists will go in there and then they'll play their, instead of, you know how, when you go into your car on, uh, Regular GTA? Yeah. And you hear the radio? Yeah. Instead of hearing the GTA radio, you'll hear these people's songs on the radio. Uh So, like, everything is customized. That's what the fun part about it is. It's like this whole other world where you can just go and play these characters. Um, So, yeah, uh, Rockstar basically said, uh, we don't want your music getting out there like that and blah, blah, blah. But then he was like, well, the fuck, they... Now you got me on this shit. Now I can't, like, I don't know. I've, either way, there's a bunch of fucking corporate shit going on, but we know he, he's going to be in it. And uh, that's, that's got to be cool. The good feeling, though, dude. Rockstar liked you enough to put you in a Grand Theft Auto game. That's got to be like some sort of super dope ass honor. Maybe our oh, podcast will be in the GTA one day. Well, that, well, maybe that'd be a good thing. Mm. Um, well, that's actually not a bad idea now that I think about it. Uh, as far as a role play thing, like we do a, like a radio station and have do episodes of, and then fucking have them put it on the radio. Yeah, you can insert that stuff, right? Yeah, I, mean, I would have to talk to the, the owners of the, whatever server we're talking about doing. Yeah, just do like five minute clips from a show or something and just put them in there for people to listen to while they're driving around blowing shit up. But that's what he was saying. Well, that's not a lot of that. Oh. Like, it, it, there's a there's rules to it. Like, uh, that that would be art. You can't just blow up. You can't just go around killing random people. Oh, I know. I, I'm just saying. Figures. That's called that's all. RDM, random death match. You can't do that. Um, uh, vehicle VDM or is it VDM? Vehicle death match or 
can't do that either. You can't kill people with your cars for no reason. Um, if you're gonna kill somebody, it has to be it has, an RP has to be involved. Like, like I, I can't just fucking go up to somebody and like you're dead. Yeah, and then rob you because that's against the rules. No, no, no. I, I figured as much. I figured as much. Depending I'm on, not, who. but you may figure, but not everybody listening may understand. We want you to understand. It's a game, like oh, man. I've been just fucking. I've been kind of scared a little late nope. about about getting on the server. Don't be scared. Uh, just uh, it's a video game. Uh, I know, but. You're, you wouldn't be there if you weren't good at it or whatever the case may be. Well, I could just m- been able to make a good application, too. Yeah, well, that's okay. <laughs> well, I mean, dude, if you... If I'm you, a good writer, motherfucker. There you go. I mean, uh, uh, shout out to Alan Wake. Um, uh, whatchamacallit. Um, no, but dude, fuck it. It's a video I'm going to get on. I, I might not stream it the first couple of days, but I'm definitely... Yeah, dude, gonna... just do it and just fuck it. What's the worst that's going to happen? They're going to kick you out? I don't want that. Well, yeah, no. Then, 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 just, then I got, then I got to find another server to play on. Yeah, yeah. So just play. the process is not fun. So well, no. But I would just play each game like it's like, hey, I might only get to play with these guys one time. So let me give my best game and just treat every game like that. I don't think. Again, you're still not understanding what it is. I need, I want you to watch some. I'm gonna send you some some people to watch, and I need, I, I want you to watch it so you understand more of what's actually going on. Um, last thing I want to talk about before we go. Uh, I ain't gonna be able to break this one up this week because we 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 kind of been off. Well, no, we we did it in segments, so the AI may be able to break it up. Um, I don't think you've been able to watch it, but I watched it a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I, I've been seeing some kind of hatred uh, t- toward it. Um, which I don't think is really warranted, but I've been watching Echo. Um. It's a the Disney Plus slash Marvel series of a character from basically the Daredevil universe. Yeah, I mean it's all fucking Marvel universe, but it's just this that arc of Marvel. Yeah, um, like Kingpin and a couple other things in there. I don't know, but I thought it was pretty good. Again, this goes back to what we were talking about as far as like learning like different things about other cultures and history about and how things really happen as far at, but still enjoying it because of the the fiction part of it. It's Echo. Uh basically Echo is about um uh, a Native American uh female. I don't think that really matters, but a Native American uh person who basically grew up under the tutelage of Kingpin, which if you know anything about Marvel, uh, Kingpin is like one of the biggest guys in the whole oh, yeah. fucking universe. Criminal mastermind. Just bald. bald just, yeah, yeah, very bald. Just boss, dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And basically he, she grew up around him. She She has one leg missing, so she has a prosthetic leg, and she's deaf. Um... She doesn't have any superpowers per se, but she's very good at hand-to-hand combat and martial arts. But she does ha- get power spiritually through her ancestors. Uh, this is throughout the comic books. Is I mean, comic books are maybe a little different. Um, some of the I think some of the comic books said she's a mutant, but in the series, she's it's more spiritual powers. But she doesn't have them all the time. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was cool because it, it shed light on real, like a real uh, Native American tribe, the Choctaws, um, which were, I think, mostly in Oklahoma. But And I looked up all the, the actors and the actresses, like the main, uh, what's her name? Ala Quay uh, Cox, which is funny because Charlie Cox is Daredevil, and they had the same last name. Oh, okay. <laughs> Small world. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I looked her up. She's from a reservation in Wisconsin. It's ironically, uh, the homies from Wisconsin. Well, I, I didn't even know there were reservations in Wisconsin. I was like, uh, oh. Honestly, I didn't know that either. I was like, oh, oh shit. Has he said that to me before? He may have brought it up maybe, before. Yeah. Maybe in just passing. But, yeah, yeah, no, no. But it just makes you think, like, there's Native American reservations all over this country, and we just never – 
talk about them just because we think we're fucking like you would say, America. Ma- Ma- Americans, real Americans. But then we forget about and forgetting people is not American, folks. That's very un-American. no. <laughs> That's the exact opposite of what. Uh, see now, he was a fat Faison liar. Because that is the American way. It's I, the fucking I know it is. Murder the motherfuckers and then forget about them. Well, this is our America, Jared. Don't forget people. It's not I nice. know. Yeah, yeah, don't forget about people. Yeah, it's not nice. It's uh, not but nice. anyway, it, it, it. I don't know. I, I thought I thought it was a good um, look into a side of our country that we don't get to see a lot. Um, and I also thought that. It was a good series, and fucking, she can kick ass, bro. Yeah. She is a fucking fighter, and I just didn't, I just saw a couple people talking shit saying, like, one person was like, oh, yeah, I think they they fucking just, fucking, whatever the word they use when they say they took the dump in the middle of a, I forgot the exact words they used, but he was like, um, yeah, I think they just gave up halfway through the series. I'm like, nah, nah. Think you didn't watch what I was watching? And I yeah. thought it was actually pretty good. All right, it was better than fucking um, the Marvel one. This Marvel was this better than that one. Yeah, it was better than um, there was one other one. That, oh, it was better than She Hulk. Like, it was better than a lot of the weaker shit, and as close to some of the stronger stuff. Well, as far, yeah, as, far as series, well, goes. if you're being tutored by Kingpin, I would like to think it's fucking badass, you know. Just she, saying. She, she learned more of her ruthlessness from Kingpin. She didn't learn her skills from Kingpin. But personally. still, him just being in the equation already oh, adds, yeah. like, levels That's part of, of it. Uh, I, I highly recommend you watch it. That's all oh. I'm going to say about that. All right. I got you. Ooh. Oh, my God. Let me I'm change sorry. the camera for this yeah. guy. Yeah, sorry, sorry, We're folks. about to be done anyway. Fucking uh, sake. That's, that's, I'm starving, dude. Uh, that's what it is. Oh, so am I. Like, well, but I'm not fucking bitching like a little girl over here. Well, that's okay, Jared, and that's okay, folks, because you can catch us next week live at 630 here on Twitch every Saturday night. All right? Anywhere you get your... I don't care about this shit, though, dude. You can catch us anywhere you get your podcasts, Apple Music, Spotify, you know. You know, anywhere you get your podcasts. And (laughs) And you can catch us at 9 a.m. on YouTube uh, for the visual. Until then, like, share, comment, subscribe, and be safe. Peace. Let's do this. You so hard, you won't see nothing. Ever, 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 ever. Audio skulls all day. The merit scientist is The merit scientist is The merit scientist is The merit scientist is You can't have an opinion on something if you haven't even tried. Exactly. The merit scientist.